Many of you have asked me how to set up Studio for YouTube or for podcasts, or what I use when I'm out vlogging. So I'm gonna cover all of that in this video, and there'll be a link to my kit shop in the description below. This is the kit shop for everything you need to create a production from studio equipment, lights, drones, gimbals, accessories, lenses, cameras, and audio equipment. If you go into any of these kit bags, you'll find equipment I've either used or reviewed or recommend. And if you click on any item, you'll see you can also find videos. So firstly, you can see this is my mobile kit. Now this is the DJI Osmo 6, and it's great because it'll track you and follow you around so it's great in many situations and I use it with the DJI Mic Mobile that just clips onto the side of the mobile phone. Really user friendly, really super to work with. And this is a more podcast studio we have and it's got a lovely ergonomic chair, super comfortable, really adjustable, perfect on your back. Computers are on a couple of glass tables which just raises them up so it's better at eye level. And also it's fantastic because you can put things underneath like your keyboards and mouse and your laptop. And the USB mics by for fine. And there'll be just a little spotlight to just give a little highlight on the face. And the webcams by Logitech, so 1080p, it's really good quality and works really well. And it's just on this table mount and it just means you can position it perfectly between the computer screens, which is great when you're presenting. The desk is electronic and you can raise it up and down. It's a sit-stand desk and it just means during the day you can change your body position. It stops you getting stiff. It's always good to have a few plants, make the background look a little more interesting. You don't want anything too complicated. It's best to always keep it simple. So there's nothing sticking out the back of your head, but just makes the background more interesting. As you can see here, this is the studio we're in now. It has a much more retro style, which for me is kind of fun for YouTube. I've got a nice console desk in here. You can see I've got two different setups here. These are my retro desks. One side is used for general editing and if I'm doing any web meetings or live streams and I'll just use the webcam and again the Fafi mic which is just like the Blue Yeti but half the price and the quality is absolutely fantastic. And then it all goes on a stand that clips to the desk so it's always there and the mic arm can just pull out the light arm can be adjusted and I just use a 660 LED panel with a softbox on it and it just means I can then pull that out move it in any direction depending on what I'm doing and it just gives a nice even light on your face. I use the Sony a7C mirrorless camera has a nice flip out screen so it's really perfect in this environment and then I'll have a monitor just to help me line up my shot check the focus. You could use the ZV E10 or the new 6700 and I use a dirty boom mic just to give that lovely crisp clean quality to the sound. And it's always useful to have some decent headphones so you can always check audio and I record it all onto the Zoom H6 field recorder and again these small lights are fantastic just to use in the background just to highlight and give a little bit of colour and it gives depth to the footage when you're doing your filming. It's always good to have a few accessories like vintage lights, plants and other items like that and like our bookshelf here where you can just display a few things that really help tell a story about who you are and what you do. And then of course for me I like these nice retro chairs so you can find these quite easily online. Well, I hope you found that interesting and it's inspired you to go out and build your battle station. So please check out these videos over here. You'll find some other interesting content to help you build your studio. Subscribe to the channel, show me the love, and I will see you over there.